Time for fun with fruit loops and some ionic bonding. Start with a sodium atom with its one valence electron and a chlorine atom with its seven valence electrons. I added the protons just so you could see the positive charges that are also there. Well now, those atoms want complete shells. So, the sodium atom gives its electron to chlorine Sodium becomes a positive ion because now it has an extra proton, while chlorine is a negative ion. It has more electrons than protons, so it's a negative charge. Negative and positive charges are attracted to become table salt. Magnesium and iodine are similar, but there's a little twist to this. Magnesium's two valence electrons and iodine has seven valence electrons. Magnesium gives one of its electrons, but what about that other electron? Another iodine atom is available to take the other electron. This is magnesium iodide. One magnesium atom and two iodine atoms. Covalent bonding is sharing electrons, so let's start with hydrogen. It has one valence electron, each one has it. So they decide to share electrons because their shell can hold two. Show the bond with a single line. Okay, let's try another one. Hydrogen plus oxygen. Hydrogen has one valence electron. These are two nonmetals, remember. Oxygen has six valence electrons. They decide to share. So hydrogen becomes a complete shell with two, but oxygen isn't complete so it finds another hydrogen and now the oxygen is complete with eight, the hydrogen is complete with two, and we have one H or two H's, one O, and our favorite H2O, water! Music